This is what I eat when I crave chocolate and it's the perfect way to get my chocolate fix every time and not feel guilty about it. It's healthy and nutritious dark chocolate bar and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this snack and why I think it's better than just eating chocolate. Of course eating dark chocolate alone is totally fine, actually it is recommended because all of the benefits of dark chocolate, but when I add some nuts into the mix I get better nutrition, mainly increase the protein content which is super important when it comes to snacking, because it helps me stabilize my blood sugar and keeps me satisfied for longer. Also good dark chocolate is quite expensive so this way by adding nuts I can bulk it up and get double the amount for less money. Not to mention so called healthy snacks you can find in the grocery store that actually contain unhealthy ingredients. Here I use no preservatives, no added sugars and no random stuff, just healthy nuts and dark chocolate. For me the best chocolate bar is made with 85% dark chocolate and crunchy and delicious almonds and peanuts, but you can also use walnuts, hazelnuts or cashews, I just prefer these because of the taste and because compared to other nuts, almonds and peanuts are a little bit higher in protein. Anyway I always use roasted nuts because they have the best flavor and they're easier to bite into. So first I'm going to roast them in my air fryer which is super easy and quick. I just add half cup almonds and half cup peanuts in a bowl, drizzle with one tablespoon maple syrup and give it a quick stir to coat them all. Now I put everything in my air fryer which you can also do on a baking tray in your oven. Sprinkle with some sea salt on top and roast for 10 minutes at 340F or 170 C. Because of the maple syrup the nuts will be sticky and darken a bit but after just 20 minutes they crisp up nicely and they can be eaten without sticky fingers. When choosing which chocolate to use I think the quality really matters here and most of the time I use 85% dark chocolate, but use the best you can get with at least 70% cocoa solids. Anyway I wouldn't suggest you use dark chocolate chips because they're usually made of poor quality chocolate and also have some other ingredients, so it's more suitable for baking. I need to melt the chocolate and here I have 200 grams good tasting dark chocolate and to make it easier instead of heating the water and using a double boiler I'm going to melt it in a microwave on a low setting, you just need to stir every 30 seconds and you have to stop microwaving before it is completely melted or you can easily overheat and burn the chocolate. All I have to do now is to bring them together, also I keep some nuts for topping the bar and the rest I add into the melted chocolate and I stir to combine, until all of the almonds and peanuts are fully coated. Or if I want to turn this from snack into a quick energy bite, I just add quarter cup toasted rolled oats and quarter cup raisins. Then I spread the mixture on a baking tray line with parchment paper so I can easily remove later, and I don't want it too thin. But if you want it thinner or if you want to make it pretty and even in size, it'll be just fine, but it doesn't have to be perfect at all. And for a final touch I'll just place a few nuts for decoration and I put everything into the freezer for 30 minutes or in the fridge but it'll need more time to set and harden up again. That's it guys, my improved chocolate snack that I think is better than just eating chocolate is ready to be enjoyed. You can simply break it up by hand into pieces of any size, but I like to cut mine both in bigger and smaller pieces, so that I have more options when my chocolate cravings kick in. It is incredibly addicting, super delicious, crunchy and keeps in the fridge for months. It is a perfect snack for any time of day. And if you're looking for more healthy ways to enjoy chocolate I suggest you make these healthy chocolate truffles. They're lower in calories compared to regular chocolate truffles and these can be made in many different variations. Check out that recipe now. Thank you so much for watching, see you in another video. Stay healthy, stay happy.